Hey, I'm Joe Pardo, and I lost my GoPro. But I have a business lesson from that. I'm just getting ready to take it for a walk. Well, how about the f Oh no! I was trying to get a sweet time lapse of me driving by the Philadelphia city skyline, and I had my GoPro on my roof like I normally do. Everything was cool, and then where it fell off, there was no shoulder for me to pull over unless I whipped back around and, and like got back on the highway, turned around and got back on the highway to, to loop past it. And, and maybe I should have. Maybe I should have did that. But I didn't. I went back about three hours later when I had time to do so, and it was gone. I even went back again this morning to see if, if maybe it was like skipped out over the guardrail or something. Not there. I have a couple lessons from this, but the lesson I want to talk about first is I reached out after right after this happened. I reached out to uh, the company who makes the suction cup that I was using for my GoPro. Sent all the receipts. I explained what I do. I explained everything. Um, and about 24 hours later, I got a an email back saying that, hey, like, this really sucks that this happened to you. I'm really sorry. Um, this is our policy, but I'm going to reach out to upper management and see, maybe they'll do something for you. Maybe, we'll see. What I wanna to bring to the table is, is what's really important to me isn't so much that they have a policy. I'm not a big fan of policies. Uh, I think I've talked about that in a previous episode, and if I can find it, I'll link it up top. Um, but with rules you can bend the rules you can break the rules but in policy it's just like nope that's our policy and their policy doesn't cover lost damaged personal items gopros <laughs> so i just want to say that i'm i'm happy to see that a company will even though they have a policy would reach back out and say look hey this is our policy but let me see what i can do for you it's appreciated. With that said, what are you doing in your business to make sure that the policy isn't just blanketing everything to make sure that like nobody is breaking policy? Because um, it's kind of like having it where you're, you know, you don't, it, it's like a giant elephant in the room. Nobody wants to make the elephant, man. Nobody wants to wake the, the giant gorilla up. Um, so yeah. What I want to know is, is do you have a policy and have you broken that policy? Leave a comment below about a time where you did that and you really made somebody's day. I hope that I can get my, my GoPro replaced. In the meantime, I had to go and buy another one um, just so I could use it. It's My GoPro is the most used camera piece of equipment aside from my phone and computer and laptop that I use every single day. Um, and I probably use it for more than I use my computer, my, any one computer or laptop that I have because it takes those time lapses that you see between every single or before every single and at the end of every single episode, six, with the exception of this episode, there will be no time lapse. Smash that like button if you allow your people to reach out to upper management and potentially break policy. Hit the subscribe button. If you've been enjoying these daily business vlogs with me, Joe Pardo, and reach out to me with your business question at Super Joe Pardo on Twitter, and I will answer your questions here on the daily business vlog. Oh no!